Good evening. It was a grim scene when state police found the body of five-year-old Shaquille Ferguson Jr. in the Rio Grande near Truth and Con Truth or Consequences in the summer of 2021. Now in a new lawsuit, a representative of the boy says it didn't have to end that way, claiming CYFD should have pulled that boy out of his father's care. News 13's Annalisa Pardo explains. I had a walk away and lost it. Then 27-year-old Shaquille Ferguson Sr. breaking down in front of police. After his five-year-old son, Shaquille Ferguson Jr. was found dead in the Rio Grande in summer of 2021. I just walked away. I couldn't sit there. I couldn't sit there and look at him. I couldn't sit there and see my son dead in front of me, okay? After initially giving different stories to police, Ferguson Sr. told police he took his son into the river when he lost hold of him. Ferguson Sr. claimed to have tried to save his son before walking away and not telling anyone what happened. Ferguson Jr.'s body was found days later, seven miles down the river. Now in a new lawsuit, a court-appointed representative for the estate of the young boy claims all of this was avoidable, pointing the finger at CYFD. In the wrongful death lawsuit against the agency, attorneys claim CYFD received eight complaints involving Ferguson Sr. and his family, five which were substantiated. It also claims in weeks prior to the boy's death, a neighbor in the motel they were living in reported hearing the boy yell, I'll behave, I won't do it again, please let me go, and saw the boy hogtied to a bed. In the lawsuit, attorneys claim had CYFD investigated these claims properly, the boy would have been placed in a safe environment away from his father. It goes on to say the agency ignored information indicating the father's home was unsafe for the child. The lawsuit asks for compensation and for more training for CYFD investigators. Ferguson Sr. was arrested in connection to his son's death, charged with reckless child abuse resulting in death. He is being held in jail until his trial. Annalisa Pardo, KRQE, News 13. In a statement, a spokesperson with CYFD said the department will be reviewing the suit and will respond to the specific allegations in court.